Hey guys, it's Cheryl. How are you? I hope you're all having a um, great start to, I guess, the summer, even though it's not summer yet. I uh, hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend uh, last weekend. Sorry, I did not <laughs> keep my promise for recording a video once a week. Things just got really crazy for me at work and I just didn't have the time. But uh, what I did want to talk about today is something that I've been doing for the past couple of years that I really enjoy, that I know I've seen a couple of discussions on, um, on both beauty boards as well as other fashion boards, and that is tanning and how to get a really nice summer glow pretty quickly without damaging your skin, um, such as going in tanning beds and laying out on the beach for hours, and how to make sure it looks natural. So if you can't tell, I'm definitely much tanner than I was. Um, I, uh, as far as foundation, I'm using what you would say, I'm not using a MAC foundation, but I guess it would be around a 35. And I used to be a 20 before I, um, I tanned. So how did I get my tan? I actually went spray tanning. So if you are not familiar with what spray tanning is, it is a self tanner that is actually airbrushed on you by another person. Now there are a couple different ways to get like what you would consider a self tan, um, whether you do it yourself, whether you go someplace. So as far as doing it yourself, I have only had success with one brand that didn't make me look orange, um, but it, I always find it's really hard to apply yourself without like an airbrush machine. Um, and I'm not exactly sure if it's because I'm a bigger girl and it's just harder to reach places or if everybody has that issue. I can't reach my back. There's like certain parts like I just can't reach. It's just, I don't know. So I have always found that spray tanning is better. I started doing spray tanning I want to say four years ago. Uh, the first time I actually did it, um, I actually used to sit in tanning beds. No joke. I haven't done that in about four years. I used to go all the time to maintain a tan and then some studies came out and I think we all kind of knew it probably wasn't great for you, but I don't think anybody realized, at least I didn't, how bad it really was. So what I ended up doing is doing something called Mystic Tan. I used to go to Beach Bum Tanning, which is, I don't go there anymore because it's not close to where I live now, but um, I, it's a chain. I don't know if they have it outside the New York City area. I'm not sure, but they had both tanning beds as well as they had something called the Mystic Tan Booth. And what you did is basically they gave you, um, they had you watch like a 10 minute video or something before how to do it. They give you a cap, they give you some barrier lotion, and basically you chose level one, two, or three. And I used to always start with level one and do that like every other week and then do a level two and that's pretty much as tan as I would get. So what you do is you go in this machine and basically the machine has automated instructions and it'll say, and you kind of stand with your arms out like this and um, it gives you instructions and it sprays you. I always had issues with that. It always used to make me super dry and it used to make my legs itch so bad. It looked really nice. It's just something in the formula really bothered me. And I never had that issue with any other self tanners. What I used to have the issue was, um, was not coming out even or turning orange because I am very very fair if you haven't watched my other videos. I am a 20 and then when I tan naturally I'm like a 25. I can get this dark naturally but it just takes me a really really long time. It used to take me the whole summer when I was like a teenager you know going to summer camp or being at the beach all the time but now that I'm working full time I don't have time to go to the beach unfortunately every day. I wish I did. Um, so that's how I started. And what I would end up doing after the Mystic Tan is I would always, you know, purchase like a self tanner to kind of touch up and maintain it. And my legs would always be itchy, so I was buying like, um, I think it was like Benadryl cream or something to always put on my legs. Cause, and I don't know if it just made them really dry or if I was allergic to something. I'm still not sure to this day. So fast forward to two summers ago. I was actually in a friend's wedding and she wanted to get a tan and she started researching it and she found out there's actually places that will airbrush you. And I had heard about them like from a reality show that was on TV. They used to have one on E, I forgot what it was called. But 
I never really looked into it and I figured it was going to be super duper expensive because the Mystic Tan Boosts were I think $35 a session and then you could buy like 10 sessions for like I think it was like $175 or something like that. So it wasn't super expensive. So I just assumed that airbrush tanning would be like a couple hundred dollars. Well, she found this place called Portofino Sun, which is in Manhattan, which is a great place. If you're looking for a place in Manhattan, that is by far one of my favorite places in Manhattan. So that's where we went. And this was two summers ago. Yes, yeah, she got married in June of 2011. So we did it and it was a really great experience for me. Um, it was, I think, like $50 or $60. I can't remember. Um, but they did a really, really nice job. They made you feel comfortable. You could go in with as little or as many clothes as you want. It was done in about 10 minutes. The color looked beautiful. Things like that. So I started doing the airbrushed ham. That's... And I've been doing it. I don't typically do it outside of the summer unless I have like an event or something. But um, usually I start doing it right before Memorial Day, which is when I did it for the first time. I did it for the first time last Saturday. Oh, sorry. I got something on my teeth. Sorry. Um, so I did it for the first time last Saturday and I did a level one and I didn't go to Portofino this time. I actually don't live in Manhattan. I live in one of the boroughs. Um, and there's a place I found that's right near my house that had a package actually on Groupon that it was $35 for the first session and then you or you could buy um, four sessions for I believe it was $115 so that's what I did I bought four sessions for $115 and they use something called Sun FX so there's different brands of spray tan I found the ones that look the nice on me are Mystic Sun FX or there's another one just called Sun which I believe is by a company called Giselle um, those are the three brands as far as spray tanning I've had people use other ones on me that for me personally they don't turn me orange at all they all have more of a green base which is going to cancel out any of the orange and it's going to make you have that kind of nice red glow undertone that you would get when you naturally tan so um, the cost like I said was $35 um, I believe it was yeah four for 115 which to me is a great deal um, I typically go in the beginning every week so I'm gonna probably use those four sessions probably right in a row and then once I start maintaining a really good tan I actually just maintain it at home and then I go maybe once every two or three weeks so that's the next topic I wanted to uh, talk about is how long does it last how can you make it last longer how can you make it look natural and what happens when it starts to fade so I found that with Mystic Tan, when it starts to fade, you kind of get this, like it almost looks like you have like snake skin. You have to exfoliate when it starts to go and just take it all off. You can't wait for it to naturally come off. I have found with Sun FX and Sun, it washes up really nicely. It's almost like a nice even wash off, so it just looks like you're getting um, lighter. Very, very, very natural. Now. Typically, without doing anything to maintain a spray tan, it's going to last depending on how oily and how often you shower and what kind of soap you use in the shower. It's going to last probably five to seven days. I've been able to figure out how to extend my tan, my spray tan, for upwards towards two weeks without having to go back. Um, you can even do it for three, but I don't find it looks as nice. Um, but I would say you can go, instead of going every week, you could go... Uh, every two weeks. So those products are the Jergens Natural Glow and this is the um, one for the body and this is the one for the face. And typically what I do is, because I just got it done yesterday, is I actually won't apply this until tomorrow. And usually I wait, so if I got it done Saturday, I'll usually wait two full days to apply this stuff. So I'll do it after I shower, I'll do um, this on the face and this on the body and I do this every two or three days and it really helps extend your tan. Um, it also moisturizes you which is really important and the other important thing with making it last is definitely obviously wash your body in the shower but don't use like a loofah or anything on your skin. Use your just your hands or like a really soft cloth to wash otherwise it's going to take the tan right off. Um, don't exfoliate unless you're ready to go back for another spray tan. And maybe that's what I should talk about is what to do to get ready for a spray tan to make sure you get the most optimal results. 
exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. So even if you're coming off having like tan for two weeks and it's gonna make you look a little scaly, exfoliate, because it'll look good once you get spray tan. So usually, typically, right before you go, I usually do mine on Saturdays I'm off from work. I usually try to get like a 10 or 11 a.m. appointment. First thing in the morning, I shower. I exfoliate my body with a really good body scrub. I exfoliate my face. Um, and just make sure everything is really smooth. Don't put any moisturizer on unless there's areas where like your wrists, your heels, your knees, which have a bit more dry skin and that's where the tan tends to collect on me. Other people may be different places. That Those areas you're going to moisturize. The rest of your body do not moisturize because you really want your skin to be able to absorb that color in. So what's gonna happen is in all the places I've been to, they usually have like either a booth or a big tent you sit in, you stand in rather. And um, usually the person, I've only gone to women, there may be men that do it, but it's always been a woman for me. And usually what um, they'll do, and believe me, they see people of all types, colors, sizes, so don't be afraid to get naked, take it all off, whatever you're comfortable with. I typically um, wear like bathing suit bottoms, but... Um, everything else is is naked that's typically what I do and um, what they'll usually do is they'll usually start from your back and they have you put your hands up in the air and they work in your back the back of your legs and they have you turn to your right side do your side left side and then they do your front your front legs your inside of your thighs your uh, chest area your stomach your neck and then they have you take a deep breath last and they do your face and then they kind of have you do the side side so they can make sure they get the sides of your face and the back of your neck so the whole process, I would say, takes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. And um, <clears throat> within those 15 to 20 minutes, they are mostly spraying you. And then at the end, what they do is they usually blot you with a towel to make sure you don't have any dripping. And all the places I've gone to, their airbrush machine, the attachment comes off. And it's almost like a hair dryer with like a low setting. And they blow dry you almost that's the best way I can explain it and it makes the color set in and then you just kind of wait in the room for like five or six minutes to your dry and then you put your clothes back on and you go and don't shower I typically don't shower till that night I usually like I said do it at 10 11 o'clock in the morning I don't shower till like 11 12 o'clock last you know at night I showered around midnight last night give it they say six hours I find 10 or 12 hours is the best. If you can even wait overnight, that's even ideal. But for me, it feels so sticky and kind of gross that I just want to shower and get it off and I can't wait. So um, that's kind of my overall experience um, and how to maintain it, My you know what my results are. So I don't know if you can see. I'll go up a little bit closer. And you can definitely see my teeth look lighter. Um, I'm thinking I'm more tan. But... Um, any questions, let me know. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.